Russell Westbrook is back for the long term. What follows Westbrook simultaneously shook up the NBA and solidified the Thunder by signing a five-year, $205 million extension to stay in Oklahoma City. The contract is the biggest in NBA history. Tack on Westbrook's $28.5 million salary for this season, and the total salary is $233 million over six years. The implications of Westbrook's new deal go beyond the numbers. It's a decision that will have a major influence on the future of the franchise. The effect on Carmelo Anthony and Paul George Westbrook returning could be a big selling point to Anthony staying in Oklahoma City more than one season. Anthony is in the final guaranteed season on his contract. He has an early termination option in his contract for 201819 which he could trigger, allowing him to become a free agent in the summer of 2018. If he opts in, Anthony will play a second season in Oklahoma City at $27.9 million. But Anthony will be 34 in May and likely won't command more than that per season in free agency. In addition to the guaranteed money Anthony gets in returning to Oklahoma City, he now knows Westbrook will be here long term. Westbrook signing is confirmation at least one star is sticking around, and it gives Anthony more incentive to remain with a winner after four consecutive losing seasons in New York. Oklahoma City wasn't Anthony's first or second choice in trade discussions, but he agreed to come play with Westbrook and George. Westbrook resigning could make it easier for Anthony to stay. Anthony is one of three players in the NBA LeBron James, Dirk Nowitzki with a no-trade clause built into his contract. Even if the Thunder has doubts about him coming back in 2018, Anthony cannot be traded this season without his permission. That wasn't on the Thunder's radar, anyway, in this Allen season. What remains on their radar is George's future. George has said his number one priority is winning, but his affinity for Los Angeles isn't a secret. Hess expected to enter free agency in the summer. If Westbrook and Anthony are committed to staying, coupled with a successful season, George's decision becomes tougher. The salary cap effect trading for George and Anthony made it clear the Thunder isn't worrying about the luxury tax ramifications. Westbrook's salary is projected to jump to $35.3 million next season. Factoring in George and Anthony's current guaranteed salaries for 201819 which both can opt out of, the Thunder's payroll would be more than $138 million. That's a best-case scenario if George and Anthony play out next season at their respective 201819 salaries of $20.7 million and $27.9 million. The Thunder's projected luxury tax bill this year, after acquiring Anthony nearly $27.8 million. It will be bigger if Anthony and George return, with a final number dependent on the NBA's revenue from the upcoming season. Should they want to sign extensions with Oklahoma City, the Thunder can go over the salary cap to sign Anthony and George. It'll just be expensive, something the Thunder isn't afraid of considering they'd be fielding one of the strongest teams in the league. The perception the Thunder is the 28th largest media market out of 30 NBA cities. The Thunder was reportedly the one dissenting vote among those 30 teams in the league's recent vote for NBA draft lottery reform. The Thunder was built on the success of the draft and rebuilt on Sam Priesti engineering trades to surround Westbrook with talent. The odds of OKC or other teams outside of mega media markets being able to acquire all-star talent via free agency aren't good. Anthony was perceived as a player who wouldn't want to play in Oklahoma City. That's because nobody really knew me, he said at Media Day. Anthony is highly respected around the league. With Westbrook and OKC for presumably the rest of his prime, all-star caliber players on other teams no one star is firmly entrenched. Westbrook's commitment to Oklahoma City coupled with the reputations of Anthony and George could be critical in luring other players, in particular veteran buyout candidates who may want to latch onto a title contender before the March 1 playoff eligibility deadline.